Hey y'all, it's me Zoe here at Zoe's World and I am back today with another mashup haul. Yes y'all, I've got a mashup for you. I found tons of great things. I cannot wait to share them with you. So we're going to jump right in because y'all, it is hot. It is so hot today. It's very, very humid and it's 91 degrees. That's why I'm in the car uh, with the windows up and the air conditioner on. Sorry, I'm shooing away like a gnat, fruit fly, whatever you want to call these things. My hair is a little crazy. It is so humid today. But we're going to jump right into this haul. I had planned on doing it a little bit earlier, right after my dentist appointment. But my phone was going dead and I was afraid it would die before we got the video done because there's that much stuff. So grab you a drink. I've got me a sweet tea. I feel like I'm trying to get a sore throat. Which I'm sure is just my allergies because they're horrendous. And we're going to jump right in. So the first thing we're going to start with is Dollar Tree because I have a ton of it. Y'all, i got so many bags. So I'm going to start with it and then we'll move on to the other shops. Um, there's Dollar Tree. I've actually added some because I went to a couple other places since I made my post on my community tab. I don't know if you guys saw that post, but y'all, there's even more than what I thought. So let's just jump right in. Okay, so the first thing I want to share with you are these fabulous guys. Yes, y'all. You know, I was never a, fo a fan. It's already starting, y'all, and I'm just starting the video. I can't talk. I was never a fan of the gnomes. I just... I don't know they were not my thing but then I started buying them just because their little outfits and that were cute and y'all this year it's again me buying more gnomes and I feel like some of these I may have purchased before but I cannot remember maybe you guys can remember but I had to go ahead and get them because I knew I wanted the whole set so we got this one here which I think is adorable he's got a little cape so cute and I don't think I've gotten any bonus items. I'll let you know if for some reason I come across something, but I believe everything I got is $1.25. If it's not $1.25, I will tell you guys. So got this guy. And then this one here, so adorable. I love the little um, metallic stripes in the hat here. I think that is so adorable with the green hair. I'm assuming is the witch. This one I love. The Frankenstein gnome. Love it, love it, love it. And then the very last one, this is the one I really don't remember. The candy corn gnome. I had to have them y'all, just so stinking cute. So I told you all that I'm trying to be choosy on what Halloween I buy this year because, you know, I always buy way too much and I just frankly don't need it all. So I'm trying to be picky about what I'm buying, but y'all, some of the stuff I've seen I had to have. So the next item I got is also Halloween. It says Hocus Pocus. I don't remember ever getting this sign or ever even seeing it for that matter at my local Dollar Tree. You guys know, if you've been watching me a minute, I love the Hocus Pocus movie. I'm not a horror movie kind of girl. I don't like scary things. I like the cutesy stuff at Halloween. Y'all, I think it's adorable. So I had to have that little sign, just one of those little chunky signs. Then, I'm kind of watching the tags because I noticed some stuff is $1.50 now. And I'm trying to let you guys know if that's the case. I got this one here. Also very adorable. By the way, the hat on this on the Hocus Pocus sign is glittery. The pumpkin is on this one, and I don't know if the video is showing that. The glitter on there. But it's really cute. And these were $1.25 a piece. And I just had to have them because I think they're that cute. I know y'all. I'm trying to be good. I really am. Anyway, let's just move right on. Y'all, I have not been wearing any makeup because my face has been breaking out terribly. Okay, next one. Now, I have purchased one of these before um, on another year, but I don't remember if it was the black one or the white one. I really like the white one. And I just thought this was cute for like in my office where I'm doing the like apothecary type, type look theme. 
Try to do a different theme in each room is my goal. It might even be like on the porch area apothe apothecary with like the, um, oh, what do you call that? The crystal ball, that kind of thing. I, I don't know. Eventually I'll know all that stuff when we get to where we're going. Then, this has got glitter all over it for my stuff. I picked up this journal. It says, Our Faith Can Move Mountains, Matthew 17, 20. I just thought it was so pretty. It's just, you know, you guys know I love my journals, my writing. And I just picked this up. I'll probably end up using it for whatever, a Bible study, or still using my one that Sandy, one of you guys got me. I'm loving it. It's nice and thick. I've been using it every day. But eventually, it will be full, and I will need another one. Okay. So let me go ahead and put this stuff back in here real quick. And then we will move on to the next Dollar Tree bag. I don't know about you guys as Dollar Trees. Mine is slowly getting stuff out. Um, and when I talk to them, a lot of it has to do with that, um, I've told you guys before, that tornado that hit Oklahoma and the distribution center there. We're in the Midwest, so um, that was our distribution center. So now my understanding is our stuff is coming from Texas. And we're slowly getting it and it's just trickling in and we're getting so much that um, they just don't have the staff really to keep up with getting it all out onto the floor because there's that much merchandise so we are getting stuff it's just taking time okay y'all this is an item that was a wish item for me and I found it or they finally put it out at my stores these light up. You do have to put your own batteries in it. They do take a AAA battery, two AAA batteries to be exact. So maybe I'll do a video showing you how it works with the lights in it. But I, I think these are just so good. They're plastic. So there was the ghost, which is white. The spider, which I love, which is black. You can see that light on the inside there. It's battery operated. Then there was also the Purple Witch. And I love that they hang so you could hang them up in trees or whatever, like Halloween night. And I wouldn't do it if it's gonna rain or whatever, just because I'm sure they wouldn't work after that. And then this one is the pumpkin jack-o'-lantern. And it's orange. But it is so cute. So I got all four of those. I know y'all. And I am being choosy. There's so much out that I'm not buying. That I'm not showing you guys. But I'm figuring you guys are going to see them on somebody else's video. Um, they had some adorable kitchen. The um, hand pot. What do you call them? Pot, the mitts. You know, the kitchen mitts and the towels. Some adorable patterns of those, but y'all, it has been my experience that some of those are just too thin, if that makes any sense, and they burn my hands. So I'm kind of picky about which ones I get. I recently picked up a um, half mitt from Dollar Tree that I'm gonna give a go to see if it won't burn my hands. But the ones previously that I've gotten from Dollar Tree, um, have burnt my hands so I'm being kind of picky about what I get and like I said I need to be picky anyway as far as like Halloween to holiday stuff because I have such an overabundance that when I move it's going to be crazy so <laughs> there's that alrighty y'all I came across the wet and wild um it's got two makeup brushes in it one for your eyebrows and then it's got this um they're calling it a bent liner let me see if I can, there we go, okay. You guys see those okay? So there's the bent liner, and then there's the eyebrow brush. But two brushes for $1.25, and I love that they put it in this holographic, pretty little, like, gift set almost. This would make a great gift if you wanted to get it for somebody. Y'all, Christmas is going to be here before you know it. So I say go ahead and pick stuff like this up if you need a gift. Um, this would be great, this and a gift card to, you know, to wherever to go with it that would make a cute little gift 
Then I found, I had found the blueberry ones before, which was a different flavor for my store. Um, today, when I, today, was it today? Yeah, today when I went, they had these salted caramel. So this Dollar Tree trip, just so you know, is like three different trips I've, I've meshed together. Because it was just a few little things here and there that I picked up as I've seen them. So I can't wait to try those salted caramels. I love Moon Pies, so I am really excited to try to taste those. I went to the dentist today. I, I told you guys before I have cavities. Well, today was the second part of my cleaning. The last cavities that they filled, I have been having pain in. I let them know that today when I went. Well, they went in and they had to put like, they last time put a liner, something called a liner on top of my fillings so they're not sensitive. Well, for some reason, when they put the filling in, the way it was filled or whatever was hitting one of my one of my other teeth. So when I would chew, it was causing pain. So they went in today and they like grinded it down. So it was a whole thing, but it feels so much better than it did. So I'm excited about that. Next item, I picked up these three packs of permanent markers, y'all. I have been packing up so much stuff in my house. I need a drink, I'm so thirsty. I have been packing up so much stuff at my house. And this is what I mark everything with. So I had, they were starting to run out of ink, so I had to get another three pack from Dollar Tree because y'all know you gotta get them there if you can. Picked up some scotch tape because I have already started Christmas shopping and I have purchased some gifts, so I wanna get them wrapped as I go. I keep a Christmas tote a list in my Christmas tote like right on top that way I don't lose it somewhere I try to keep one in my planner to a copy of it so I kind of know what I bought but um I'm gonna start wrapping presents this week y'all because I want to get this stuff done early picked up another one of these Brazilian mist body sprays I am so excited to find this again at my store, you guys. It, this stuff smells amazing. The Brazilian Mist is notes of pistachio and salted caramel. This smells amazing. And I did buy the body wash. You guys saw it under another haul as well as one of these. I just picked up another one because I've been using the first one I got. So I got another one since I saw them there. And y'all, I have heard, and I don't know if this is true because I haven't actually seen the product, but I've heard there's supposed to be a lotion and wipes that match that scent. So I'm hoping we get those if that's the case. Then y'all, I picked up this ribbon. This is like a glittery orange ribbon and it's got a little bit of black edge around it. I have a craft project I wanna do this year and um, I'm, I need this ribbon for it. So that's what I got this for specifically. Then y'all, when I stopped by there today, they put out, these are new um, to my store anyway, and there was like, I wanna say eight or 10 different kinds. I chose to try one because I do pre prefer that Global Beauty line. This line is Last La Splash, maybe it's called LA Splash, maybe that's what it is. But there was all different types from the same company. So I just grabbed one, I grabbed the Lavender mask you guys know how I'm crazy about my face mask and I'm going to try this tonight and see how well I like it because if I like it I'll go ahead and get the other ones because like I said there were eight or ten and I didn't want to buy all of them and not care for how it works so I grabbed the one if I buy more of them I'll let you guys know when I do but I'm going to give this one a go tonight to see how it works I did not do my self-care Sunday last Sunday y'all I have been so busy like so so busy I'm working six six or seven days a week on average um so i'm off today but i'm working every other day of this i worked all weekend i worked friday saturday sunday i'm off today monday and then i'm working tuesday through sunday this week and then who knows what next week is because my days all run together but i checked my calendar to see if i had any more days off this week and i do not so this is it y'all then, I don't know if you guys saw my short video of this gumball machine. This It looks like a witch's cauldron. I think it is so super cute. So, I had to share it again in this video because this is one of the items I did get. I did do a short video. If you haven't seen that, go back and check it out. I put the gumballs in it. The, the gumballs also came from Dollar Tree. It's the, um, I feel like it's called, 
coastal coastal gumballs anyway they look adorable however they are too big for this machine this machine is a working machine you can hear it when you turn it but they're too big to go through the little hole so if you're gonna put candy in this i would recommend something either smaller gumballs or m m's skittles that kind of stuff because it's too big to come through the little device um, but it's super cute either way. You could just take the lid off of it and take gumballs out if you want to leave the gumballs in it. Just because they look adorable. But I thought I'd show it to you again in case you didn't see that short video. And it is in my playlist if you decide, you know, you want to take a look at those videos as well. I did a few over the weekend. Showed you guys a few different things. A taste test that Jamie and I did. Um, plus an update on the Skittles drinks. Um, again, if you didn't see it, go back and check the playlist. Check out that video. It's just a short one. But um, I will tell you, after I got them cold, it was much more bearable. I will tell you, though, they are full of sugar. Like, being diabetic, I could not sit there and drink a whole one of those. As much sweets and stuff as I do eat, uh, that would be just way, way, way too much. Because, y'all, it's a lot. It is so much sugar. It's so sweet. It is better cold much better cold but i still personally my taste i still don't love them um i could get away with drinking the green one if i had to it's got a sour flavor like i like but again i just feel like it's so much sugar that to me it's a no you guys make your own opinions if you try them you guys can let me know in the comments if you've already tried them or not okay y'all i also would like you guys to make a comment let me know do you like these multi mashups like I did one like this before with a lot of stores and I didn't know if it was too much. So you guys let me know in the comments if you like that or not. Okay, let's see, next store we're gonna go to. That was it for the Dollar Tree. Let's go ahead and jump on over to Timu. I know Timu is some of y'all's favorites. And I'm trying to find the Timu bag. Okay, I got, these are just a few little bags because um, I didn't have a ton from Timu but I did want to share with you some of the things I got. So this very first thing is a Christmas gift. I'm sorry, not Christmas, birthday, birthday gift. Um, my brother's birthday is in November. His and my daughter's birthday are right back to back. And when we were teenagers, my brother had a mullet and it was like a total joke. He was like never gonna cut his mullet or whatever. So <laughs> it's a big joke in our family. And I found this calendar on Timu. It's the world's greatest mullets 2025 calendar. This is sort of a gag gift for my brother. I think it's gonna be hysterical. He collects Popeye stuff, which I have a hard time finding. I did find some Popeye signs and a few things on Timu that is Popeye that I am adding to his birthday bag, but this is one of the items that's also gonna go in that bag. I paid $3.47 for this. Okay. And by the way, on that uh, Dollar Tree stuff, it was all $1.25. I didn't have any bonus items. Okay, next item from Timu. This was $1.70. It's a diamond painting kit. And let's see here. Kind of trying to watch our time as I go. I am sitting in the car with it running, which I don't like to do, but it's so hot, y'all, and the deer flies here are crazy, and they're huge, and they bite. So this diamond painting kit is so cute. It's just one of the little small ones. And I hope the picture will really show it because it's kind of wrinkled for me and folded. But it's got a red barn, a turquoise truck, and sunflowers. All the things I love. And I cannot wait to do this little kit. It's just going to be another little small one. But I think it's so pretty. And I'll show you guys this one as I go. Um, for those of you who have been following my diamond painting journey... I am still working on the cat one that looks like my Meow Meow. And y'all, it's a bigger one and it's taken me a little bit longer. And now I do only work on it at work on my breaks and that, so it's not like I'm working on it constantly. But um, it's, it's taken a little bit more time, but like I said, it's way bigger. So I'm working on it. I cannot wait to show it to you guys because I can already see it really starting to, to take, I don't know how you would say it. I'm really starting to see the picture with the beads. It just it looks beautiful and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. So make sure you're watching those videos if you like the diamond painting. But this truck one was $1.70 for this little one. 
then I got another diamond painting. And this one's a little bit bigger. It was three dollars and fourteen cents. And um, I've never really followed the Royals per se, but I started watching that um, series. Was it on Netflix? No, I can't remember what streaming it was on about the Royals. And I just have always loved Diana. Um, just the different stories you hear about her, how she was just so kind to what over there they consider like commoners and then people who were ill with like AIDS and like just different things like that. She was just truly a remarkable woman. And when I saw this on Timu, I had to have it. And I've never gotten anything I'm really royal related or anything. I've never collected anything like that. But when I saw this, I just thought it was so beautiful. It's such a great likeness, likeness of her. And I'm going to add it to my wall of strong females in my office. So I think it's beautiful. I think it's going to be a really pretty diamond painting. It's a little bit bigger in size. And... I think these strong women in history should definitely be celebrated. So I definitely, when I saw it, I had to have it. And with Timu, it's such a great price, why not? And y'all know I love me some diamond painting, so I think I've become addicted to this hobby because I just keep getting more and more. So many that I can't keep track. The girls got me so many for my birthday in my birthday bag. So I have a lot to work on, y'all. And of course, this one's not going to want to go back in its bag. Hold on one second, y'all. See if I can get it. Nope, we're not going to take the time. I'm just going to sit it up here. I'll deal with it when the video's over because it's going to take a hot minute. The next thing I got was $2.37. And this is a garland for Halloween. Uh, I showed you guys the quilt that I got. Well, there's bats on that quilt, that Halloween quilt. And I thought this would be so cute to match that in my bedroom. So this is what it is. It's just a garland with bats. On my, um, all the ones I've gotten from like Dollar Tree, none of them have bats on them. So when I saw this, and it was such a cheap price. I was like, yeah, I may as well go ahead and get that garland because it does match my quilts that I got. And I thought that would be a cute little accessory in my bedroom. Okay, y'all, I'm having problems with bags today. Not as cheap as Dollar Tree, two thirty-seven. But like I said, I've never seen that particular type of one at my Dollar Tree to match my quilt. Okay, next item, I picked up this. Um, it says it's three D bat decoration, and I can't take them out because they're just like a hard plastic. But they do come with the little stickies to put them up on your wall. But this is what they look like when you hang them up on your wall. They're all they're little. They're little in size, but some are a little bigger, some are a little smaller and you just stick them up and you get 48 pieces of bats so i thought that would be also cute in my bedroom so dollar 27 for that little set then y'all this next item was 179 and it's just a three pack of these markers these are white permanent markers so they write white and the reason i got these is i've been putting a lot of stuff in mason jars in my pantry because I've been redoing my pantry and I have the black chalk stickers that go on there that I got from Dollar Tree on each mason jar and I've been using I, I needed a I had one that came with some of the stickers I got but it's running out so I needed these markers to write what is in the jars on those black chalk stickers so I got the three pack here and it was a dollar seventy nine y'all can you hear those those deer flies they're just hitting my window it's crazy now this next item I'm a little bit I am and I'm not I'm not surprised I guess you should say because y'all know that things are different than what they seem when you buy Timu sometimes so I got a 30 pack of these rolls of double-sided tape for scrapbooking now I don't know if you guys have ever seen the ones I buy from Dollar Tree but they're about this big around, I'd say, and you get quite a bit on there. And I thought, in my mind, this was the same type of rolls, but it's just little rolls. Now, will I still use these? Absolutely. They're going to do the same job, 
but it's not near as much. And it said it was 30 rolls, which it is. It's 30 rolls, but it's 30 tiny little rolls, if that makes any sense. So kind of watch that when you buy off the of Timu. Make sure you read all the descriptions. I've said this many times because I'm terrible about it, but I want you to do better than I do, okay? <laughs> and this was $3.86 for the 30 rolls. All right, y'all. Let me see if that is all of the Timu before I move on. I feel like I have so many odds and ends in here. I've got a fabulous Timu order coming. It's not a ton of items. I think it's like 14 items or something. And it said it would deliver by today, so I was kind of hoping it would be here so I could show all that to you. But it did not come. So I'll show it to you when it does come. Okay, I do have one more item here that I guess I missed in the Dollar Tree haul. I apologize. It's just a repeat purchase. It's these uh, lemon sandwich cookies. You get two little sandwiches in 18 different little packages, if that makes sense. It's for back to school. Um, I love these. They're delicious in flavor. And I've been putting them in my cubby at work. And everybody's just been snacking on them as they want to. So I was getting low, so I went ahead and bought a, another box of these to take to work. Okay. Next door, I'm going to show you is Walmart. I did not mention this one in the community tab because I kind of had forgotten about it, but I wanted to go ahead and share it with you. Um, it's just one item. I was in there uh, grocery shopping and I picked up, and I don't even know if we're going to be able to see it because it's already, it's all, let's show you the picture of it. It was on clearance for $5, and this is what it looks like it is a St. Louis Cardinals beach towel. I'm not going to undo it because it's got all of its tags, like I said, hooked to it and everything. This is going to be one of Jack's Christmas gifts. My husband is a huge St. Louis Cardinal fan. When I saw it on clearance for five bucks, I was like, that's a perfect gift for him for Christmas. So that'll be one of the gifts I'm wrapping up this week. One of many. I've bought quite a few gifts lately. Okay. When we were done with the birthday bags at work, we just gave the girl her, the last birthday bag I was doing for the hospital job. So we're done with that. So all that stuff is out of my house, which is exciting because y'all, I've been, I've been trying to get everything cleaned up and organized and it's, it's just a lot. Okay, the next store I'm gonna show you is Goodwill. I went there today. The color of the day was green. Y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this car off because I'm perfectly cool and so it starts getting hot in here. I feel like it's very loud. Um, but y'all, the color of the day was green today and I feel like I really hit the mother load. They had this candle, it says it's frosted cinnamon. And looking at the bottom of it, I'm guessing it's from Dollar General because there's the tag on it, it was $5. Y'all, this is a prime example of how my Goodwill has really been overpricing things. So they were trying to sell this thing for $4.67. It was originally $5. Y'all see that? $5. And there's their tag. $4.67. Now, I will say this is a brand new candle. It smells amazing. It smells like Christmas. There's the inside of it. It's never been lit. But y'all, it's Goodwill. Why are you selling this for $4.67? Why did I buy it, you ask? Today's green color was, or today's color was green tag. So they have a color system that every Monday they do a tag color. Today's was green and it, everything with a green tag was 75% off. So I only pay, let's see, what would that be? Half of $4.67 would be... Uh, Two thirty-three, two thirty-four, and then half of that would be one fifteen, one twenty, somewhere in there. So that's all I paid for this candle. I will tell you everything that I got from Goodwill today, everything all together, because it's odd amounts, was five dollars and a little bit of change. So it was a good buy today. Um, but yes, frosted cinnamon, and I did get that for like a dollar and some change. So yeah, I'll pay that for it. I'm okay with it, but I would never have paid that $4.67, which I think is insane. Then I found this book, um, The American Sniper. I remember the story when it came out. It was a big hit at the theater. 
Um, it was priced $1.93 green tag, but again, 75% off that price. And I have not read this story yet, and I love to read. So I went ahead and picked this up for that price. I thought that was wonderful because that's literally change. Then I picked up this um, Joyce Meyer book, Authentically, Uniquely You. I've read several of Joyce Meyer's books, and I don't recall reading this one, but it was Mark $3.99, so 75% off that. Basically, made it a buck. So I went ahead and picked that up, and thought I'd go ahead and get that. Then this was in the young adults reading section, which I will read a lot of those books too sometimes. It's Girls in Pants, The Third Summer of the Sisterhood. If you guys remember The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, the movie, those were books. And this is like the third one in the series. So there was part one, part two movie. So I'm guessing this is the third book in the series. So I'm going to try to see if I can find the other two books. I don't own them. It's not something I went out searching for, but it's such a cheap price. Again, this is marked $1.93. If it had been an even two bucks, uh, it would have been 50 cents. So it's it was so cheap. I went ahead and just picked it up because I, I like those kinds of books. Then I picked up this book. I love um, biographies too. And this is Rose McGowan. And it was also marked $1.93. So basically under 50 cents for the book. And it says a revealing a memoir and empowering manifest manifesto. Um, a voice for generations. It says, my life, as you will read, has taken me from one cult to another. The biggest cult of all Hollywood. Brave is the story of how I fought my way out of these cults and reclaimed my life. I want to help you do the same. Rose McGowan. So she was the actress who played on, she, she's played on a lot of stuff, but um, she was really well known in Charmed, the TV WB show. So she was also one of the ones that came out in the, what is the me movement or whatever they were calling that. So I thought this would be an interesting read too. And for that price, like I said, under 50 cents, you can't beat it. And then the last item I picked up at the Goodwill um, this one was not on sale, but it was such a great price, $1.93. It's the Family Reading Bible, New International Version, easy and accurate to read. And I thought, this is a nice Bible for this for this price. It was full price. This one was $1.93, but I'm okay with that. And it just kind of shows you the different. It's more of an easy to read Bible. They didn't earn a New International Version. So I went ahead and picked that up when I saw it because I think that it's going to be a wonderful, easy, easy to read Bible. Okay, so that is everything that I picked up at the Goodwill. So very excited about all the books I got and everything for literally $5 and some change, everything all together. Okay, then I stopped in. This is also a store I did not mention in my community tab because I didn't know I was going there today. But after my dentist appointment, I stopped by a few places, Goodwill, um, Dollar Tree, and Beals. And y'all, I found these adorable, adorable um, dog toys. They're squeakies. <laughs> and Grace gets toys all the time. She's so spoiled. But I saw these and I had to get them for her. Um, they were $6.99, so they were not cheap. But I have to get good quality toys for her because she chews her those squeakies, I have to make sure she can't really get to it. It has to be good, like, quality because she'll tear it up in, like, seconds. So, those type are better for her. And they're so cute for Halloween, y'all. You know, I'm wanting that fall. I'm wanting it to come. Then, I picked up a new notebook. Anytime I see beautiful notebooks, I just have to have them. This one was $3.99, but it's very, very thick. I love that it has the band to keep it shut. I really prefer that on my journals. Um, and it's just basically writing paper and it has the pretty little flowers printed on the corners. But I had gotten a journal that, um, I was putting notes and stuff in about building out the tiny shed to house build. We're not even positive that's going to happen. That's our goal. And we are looking for land, which Jack found some land today in the Ozarks, which I'm excited. We're going to call about it tomorrow. We called today. They're going to get back with us. So I'm going to call them again tomorrow if they don't get back with us after I get off from work. Work at my second job tomorrow. But um, we're 
that is the plan if we can find land that's affordable. If we can't find land that's affordable, we may end up buying a house that has land with it. But this particular land that we found has a pond. And I can't remember how many acres it was. I want to say 12. I could be wrong about that. I need to look again. But um, that's basically our goal. But the notebook I had been using was one of the little thin ones from Dollar Tree. Y'all, it's not enough. There's so much information out there and things that you have to consider. And um, I've done so much research on, like, what... Um, you know, what to use for heating and cooling, what to all these different brands and company information that I've researched, and it's just already full. So that's what I'm going to use this for. I'm going to transfer all that information into this thicker book and put everything into this. And I just thought it was so stinking pretty. It was $3.99. And does it tell me how many sheets? It doesn't tell me how many sheets of paper is in it, but it's a lot. It's a thick one. So... That's what I got this for. And that is all the only two things I picked up at Beals. Okay, and then the very last thing, I'm hesitant to show you, but I did put it in the community tab that I would be sharing it with you guys today. So I'm going to go ahead and share it. When the other one comes, I'll share that one when it comes. So every year I have wanted to get pet stockings. Like I, I buy the ones that already are full. That makes any sense of toys and stuff. But I have found that those toys are not great quality always. And the snacks are things I don't want to give Gracie or Meow Meow. So I wanted to get them their own stocking with their name on it. A nice one that we could use every year. And I could fill with the, the treats and toys and things that I buy. So I wanted to do that. And they're not cheap. They're, this was not on the cheap side. I bought this from a catalog company, Country Door. I love them. But their stuff is not cheap. Um, I usually buy from them only when stuff is on sale on the clearance. However, I'd been wanting these and I wasn't going to wait because last year I waited to see if they'd go on sale and they were sold out. So this year, as soon as they came in, I went ahead and ordered them. And I, when I say they weren't cheap, they were about $19.99 a piece, I think. And I can double check that if you guys are interested, let me know and I'll, I'll find out for sure. But I want to say they were like $19.99. But y'all, I love these. So, Gracie's has come in. Meow Meow's has not. Sorry if you see the little fruit fly, gnat, whatever it is, flying around. But I think it's so cute, and I love that her little name is embroidered on it. But this will be the perfect size to put her little toys and some snacks in it for at Christmas time. And I just had to have this. I love this plaid. I basically love everything about this. Now, this is not something I would have normally spent money on if it wasn't something I didn't think we could use long term. But y'all, I've been wanting that, and so I just decided to go ahead and splurge and get them early this year for Christmas. Now, Meow Meows looks like this one, but it's green, dark green plaid. So, as soon as his come in, I'm not sure why they ship separately, but as soon as his comes in, I will share it with you guys. But I absolutely love these stockings. I think they're so stinking cute. Alrighty, y'all. So that was the last item of this haul. I hope you guys like it. Again, drop me a comment. Let me know. Um, do you like these like lots of multi haul, small haul, you know, uh, content? Do you like that? Or do you rather that I always switch it up individually kind of thing? Because for me to switch it up, it's going to put a lot more videos out there for you guys. However, I really want it to be a good video that you're excited about seeing all the different things. So in my mind, more is better for you guys, but maybe you don't like it being this long or this many different shops. Maybe cut it, cut it in half or whatever. You guys let me know in the comments what you like because I want it to be stuff you guys are wanting to watch. Um, also, let me know what your favorite item is out of the whole haul, or you can say what your favorite item was from each store. However you want to do it, I'm okay with it. I have to say... From Timu, my favorite item was definitely the calendar because my brother is going to think that's hysterical and I cannot wait to see his face when he opens it. Um, from Goodwill, I'm going to have to say the Family Reading Bible. I'm very excited about that. It's an easy read Bible, which is a lot easier to read if you're reading your Bible every day. Um, love it, love it, love it, love it. <laughs> I'm so excited to give Gracie the dog toys because she is going to flip as soon as I bring a toy into the house and cut the tag off of it with the scissors she's going to be all over me trying to get that toy so I'm excited about that and then as far as um the Dollar Tree goes 
I think I'm going to have to say, I can't even remember everything I had in the Dollar Tree haul, y'all. I think I'm going to have to say probably those little lanterns. I think those are so stinking cute for $1.25. I don't think you can beat that price. And I feel like you could either hang them because they've got that little hanging um, hook on them. Or you could sit them in different parts of your house. I did get every color. I couldn't decide if I wanted to get like all black or all white. But I loved all the different ones. That I think it would be a cool thing to like hang them. Like one shorter, one longer. One shorter, one longer. Like maybe like on your porch kind of thing. Now you couldn't do that if you have an open porch like I do and it rains or whatever. But if you have like a covered porch that would be so cute. Or you could just take them individually and put them in different places in your house. I think would also be cute if you buy as many as I do. But yeah, y'all, I think that is all my favorites for today. I hope you guys like this haul. Again, drop me a note. Let me know what your thoughts are. Y'all, I'm fighting this fruit fly or gnat or whatever it is. Um, and you guys, I will see you soon. Like I said, I'm working all week. I don't know if I'll do any more hauls this week or not. It'll just depend on my time frames. Um, I realize I'm doing less hauls for you guys, but I'm trying to do... Um, more short videos for like just to show you little things but longer videos to show you really good products I think I found so I hope that makes sense um, you guys let me know and if you stayed all the way till the end because this is a long video drop me a pumpkin emoji if you're able to I love those little emojis I'm trying to start doing that I'm doing kind of an experiment to see how many of you watch till the end. So drop me a um, pumpkin emoji if you're able to. Alrighty y'all, that's it. Thank you so much. Happy Monday and many blessings. Bye y'all.